Hello, my name is Jody McIntyre. I'm an application scientist on the Oncomine platform. Today's video will be an introduction to the NGS Mutation Browser. The NGS Mutation Browser has data from multiple sources. We have data from the Cosmic Cell Lines projects, from TCGA, and also from publications containing NGS mutation data. To follow along with this video, you can log in at powertools.oncomine.com under NGS Power Tools, select Oncomine NGS Mutation Browser. And if you have any questions after watching this video, please contact us at compendia support at lifetech.com. So once you've logged into the NGS Mutation Browser, you'll come to this overview screen, which is the first tab in the NGS Mutation Browser, which has an introduction to the browser, as well as a guide here below to help you navigate through to the different tabs. So there are two different types of analysis you can do within the NGS Mutation Browser. There's pan-cancer uh, mutation analysis, or you can look at your mutations by cancer type. So in this example, we're going to start with pan-cancer mutation analysis, and we're going to investigate KRAS in gastric adenocarcinoma. Similar to the other NGS power tools, this tab works by setting the filters on the left-hand side and then exploring the updating views on the right. First, we'll select our gene of interest by either selecting one of these examples, or you could type in your gene of interest to search through uh, the full list of genes in the database. So I'm going to select KRAS, and that then reduces our view to only the KRAS gene. And you can see that this table includes gene symbol, sample type, mutated sample frequency, the mutated sample count versus total sample count, and then the gene classification of gain of function. In order to explore further, we click on or select the KRAS gene. And that populates this next view, total mutations by cancer type. And we can see that KRAS mutation frequencies are in the relevant cancer types. For today's example, we're going to investigate KRAS mutations in gastric adenocarcinoma. So I'm going to select gastroadenocarcinoma. And what you can see is when I select that, it actually highlights the mutations in the mutations by position graph below. And what you can see is that there seem to be a large hotspot at position 12 in which there are several mutations from gastric adenocarcinoma and then another hotspot but at position 13 and then a couple others along the KRAS gene. We're looking to identify the most prevalent KRAS mutations in gastric adenocarcinoma. Position 12 and position 13 are the most prevalent. And then if we want to look at functional domains, we can zoom down to look in more detail. And we can see at position 12 and 13 overlap with a functional motif, a RAS-like GTPase functional motif, or protein domain. So as you can see, with a few simple steps, you can select your gene of interest, select your cancer type, and then investigate your mutations by position, we found out that the most prevalent mutations in KRAS, in gastric adenocarcinoma, are at position 12 and position 13, and are overlapping with a RAS-like GTPase. Now, if you were interested in taking any of these views and putting them into a PowerPoint deck, you could right-click within any view and export the visualization. Or if you'd like the data behind this graph, behind the mutations by position, you can click on pan cancer mutation details. And that brings up the full list of all the mutations from KRAS in this particular example by cancer type. And you can sort this in any way you'd like. And you can also export this into Excel spreadsheet in the top right hand corner. You can export the table with or without formatting. Now it's time to try the NGS Mutation Browser for yourself at powertools.oncomine.com. Thank you.